Hi, my name is Amalia, and today I'm going to be doing a presentation on getting the news, whether or not newspapers are still a good way to go. As our world adjusts to more digital uses, such as online classes, ebooks, and so much more, we tend to forget about the old way things were done. One of those ways is newspapers. Newspapers have played a big part in getting local news to the community all through a couple of pages. However, as our world begins its new phase of going digital, we start to wonder, are newspapers still a good way to go? Not to mention the amount of waste it brings with every story told. To start off my presentation, let's talk about the good and the bad of newspapers. Some pros we have is that it allows people to have easy access to local news within reach, such as the elderly or people with no internet access. Some cons, of course, is that it creates waste from both used and unused copies, whether they're carelessly being thrown out or unable to be recycled or reused. So let's compare. An average 12 inch stack of newspapers weighs about 35 pounds, so one inch stack of newspapers would weigh about 3 pounds. A standard 40 foot matic container has a cubic capacity of 2,390 feet. Convert that to a cubic capacity of 27,600 inches. So that would mean one matic container can hold 82,800 pounds of newspapers. Now, the most recent data shows that all U.S. dailies circulate just under 28.6 million paid copies a day, meaning if we compare that to our matching calculations, every day about 345 matching containers of newspapers are printed. Now, imagine that 365 days a year. Think about it. My main research question for this project was how can we continue to inform the community through newspapers but lower the amount of waste afterwards? Now, I have two hypotheses for this topic. One is if we take newspapers but go completely digital, then the amount of waste will lower and people can still be informed. Or if we keep newspapers as it is right now, but educate ourselves to recycle and reuse old newspapers, then the waste will lower and people can still be informed. So where are we now? How newspapers have changed over time? As we can tell by the data provided by UNC Hussman, School of Journalism and Media, newspapers have already seen a decrease over the past years. From 2004 to 2020, there is a net loss of 2,155 newspapers, both non-daily and daily copies. Now you may be wondering what happened, how newspapers are affecting our community. Now of course, there are reasons why newspapers aren't as popular as they used to be. Now available online, paper printed dailies are becoming a thing of the past. As you can see by the graph, 37% of people get their local news online, while only 13% get them on the printed dailies. Some things to consider. What does this mean for the rest of us? I know for a fact that people still read the newspapers. For example, the elderly who are unable to use the internet or just don't know how to, or people without internet access. They still read the newspaper too. So with the increase of going digital and the decrease of printed dailies, we should still keep in mind what it means for the rest of the people who prefer their printed copies. On to possible solutions. Now, we have two ways that we can go at this, whether it's going digital or recycling. Viewing the newspaper online, if available, can decrease the amount of waste but also keep people informed of the local daily news. This will also allow people to reread information without the hassle of looking for old newspapers. However, viewing the newspaper online may not be available to some people, but reading the printed copy isn't a bad thing at all, only if we know how to do it right. Recycling old newspapers or upcycling them into fun projects can be a good way to reduce the amount of waste. Instead of throwing them away in the dump, we can reuse them and create a healthier environment. To end off my presentation today, I think that we can all agree that newspapers are beginning to become a thing of the past but we should continue the following solutions to help newspapers get back on their feet all while still creating a healthier environment, whether it's reading the daily news online or reusing old newspapers into something new. From all the research that I've done, it really depends on the way we think and choices we make when it comes to reading the news. But with these possible solutions, we can all create a healthier environment one article at a time. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Aloha.